Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm an editor at Ask Men, and today we're making Caesar salad. It's pretty simple in terms of ingredients, but it's all about the technique. Let's first start with what we're going to be using today. We've got romaine lettuce, eggs, lemons, fresh garlic, Parmesan cheese, olive oil, extra virgin, anchovies, and that's it. So let's get started. First, we're going to crush the garlic with a garlic press. You can also uh, chop it up with a knife, but that's way more annoying. So we've got our garlic here. Now we're going to just chop up the anchovy. A lot of people feel like anchovies are gross. You just need to get over that right now. It's really just, it's like yummy salt. That's, that's all we're talking about. And we're gonna mash it up so that it really kind of just becomes a paste. And actually, the original Caesar salad, which Simon Majumdar talks about in his article, was made not with anchovies, but with Worcestershire sauce, which contains anchovies. So that's kind of the same flavor, but it's just like a dash of sauce instead of the whole anchovies. And now we are going to separate an egg. There's a few different methods to doing this. Some people just run it right through their hands. I just do the kind of back and forth style. And there you go. I'm just gonna wash my hands now because I have egg white on my hands and that's unsanitary. So we've got the, the raw egg yolk, and we're going to mix it all together. And now we're gonna add half a lemon, and the lemon juice, the acid from the lemon juice, is going to essentially cook the egg. Really get that lemon in there, and then I'm gonna whisk it so that it really gets well combined. Now this is the part that is actually a little bit more of a technique thing. This is where you're gonna emulsify olive oil into the egg mixture here. So when you're doing this, you can mess this up, so pay close attention. You have to combine the olive oil very slowly in a slow stream, mixing all along. And you can take breaks if you feel like you're getting stressed out. And you'll notice that it's kind of looking like it's thickening up a tiny bit, and that's the egg and the olive oil working together. Now, all we have to do is grate the cheese in. So, this is a microplane grater. I know a chef who says that this is the sexiest kitchen implement that you can buy. And I would say you put, you know, a quarter of a cup or more. This is basically gonna kind of impart a creaminess to your dressing. You can put as much as you want. Now, you are at the point where you can add your lettuce. So I just rip it with my hands, like this, and I put it pretty big, coarse pieces. Now another big benefit to doing this table side like, is that you really should eat this like pretty much right after you dress it, because it gets, like the dressing is pretty heavy and it kind of gets soggy and gross quickly. So now you toss, and you really gotta toss it pretty well because it's thick, look how nice that thick dressing is, but you really have to get everything coated. And then you finish with a little bit more cheese on top, which as much as you want. If you're like really into cheese, you can put so much that you can't even see the green of the lettuce anymore, but that's kind of gross. There we go. And we just made a Caesar salad from scratch. 